Hey Jim, uh, I ended up doing this late at night, so I wanted to show you, I just did a brake light switch, turn signal switch, horn. So left turn signals, all that is working properly. Let's do the right turn signal. Yeah, I can see the reflection on the door. I know that's working properly. That's working properly. Headlights, working properly. Tail lights, working properly. Now let's do a uh, brake light. And before I put everything back together. Yep, they are brighter. So give it a second and the timer should kick in and these should go down to just regular tail lights. So let's give that a second. It's a little black timer box. Goes through its own little cycle. There they go, they just went down. So we know that's working properly. All right, this is a little tool I picked up. So I've got one end to my main ground, which is right there. Obviously these are not lithium batteries. And as I touch, it tells you how many voltage, 49.8. So I know my test light's doing, my, doing its job. Let's see if I can set this. Well, it's gonna be difficult for me to hold the camera at the same time. Let's try it. So I got my little timer out here. And I'm just gonna wiggle these slightly loose. So let's take a look at number one, see what kind of voltage we're getting at number one. Nothing, absolutely nothing at number one. So my assumption is that's gonna be a ground. Number two, I'm getting 16 volts. Right there, getting 16 volts. And then number three minus, I'm getting nothing. So now what I'm gonna do is, I wanna check, see what's coming through my little circuit breaker here. So when I hold my, I'm getting 16.4 volts. Now let me tell you why I'm getting 16.4 volts on this. The headlight system on the lead acid batteries uses 16 volts. Everything goes through your negative no matter what it is, if you hook two batteries together, eight and eight is 16 volts. And here is my wire and fuse for my headlights. And yes, the red turns into blue. So that's the reason I'm getting 16 volts. So one more time on my circuit breaker, I'm getting 16 volts on both sides. And obviously it's because the circuit breaker is not tripped. And then if I go to my timer, let's see here, that is getting nothing. And that is my number three minus. Let's go to my number two plus. And I'm getting 16 volts. I suspect you should be getting a uh, 13 and a half because yours is going through the eco um, voltage reducer. And number one, I'm getting nothing. Now, one of the wires going to the circuit breaker, which is basically like a resettable fuse. If it pops, you can just push it in and it resets it. One of those wires goes to this connector of the brake light switch. So right now the brake light switch is off. Let's see if that phone will stay there. So if I just disconnect the switch, let's check our voltage on both sides. So I'm gonna take my test light. Okay, so one of these sides, which is the side that goes to the uh, circuit breaker, I've got 16, it's hard to see, 16.4 volts. I'm assumption is the other side to get nothing. Let's see. I'm getting nothing. Nothing on the other side. Nope, nothing at all. Now, 
when this plunger down here activates like that, or push down my pedal, then it's gonna connect that 16 volts to the other side, which will in turn push voltage to my two plus. Now, if it's pushing voltage to the two plus, that I think the power is gonna activate the timer, which is built into this little mechanism. So, let's try it and see. All right, I don't know how well that tripod's gonna work, but again, I'm gonna take my test light and I'm gonna touch it to something. Yep, I got 16 volts with two batteries. So now let's check these voltages. So, the wire coming out of the circuit breaker into the connector for the plunger switch has got 16 and a half volts. So I'm satisfied that going into this white connector, and I know it's gonna be difficult. Let's see if I can lower this down. I don't know if that's gonna help. But going into this white connector, one side has got 16 and a half volts. So the other side goes over to two plus, and I got nothing. So now let's see what happens as soon as I hit the brake pedal. There it goes. As soon as I hit the brake pedal, it pushes voltage through that plunger switch over to the two plus. So right now I got power at two plus, nothing at three minus, and I also have power at number one. So my guess, number one, is the orange wire from the three wires from the main, the rear bucket harness. So that orange wire there, and if I unplug it and test it, well, guess what? I got nothing if I unplug it, so it must have to be plugged in. Or did the timer go out? Timer went out. So I've got 16 volts going into it. As soon as I unplug it, it loses it. So evidently it's got to have some type of signal to push through there to push the 16.2 volts. So it's gonna be impossible right now for me to check the voltage on these three wires without them plugged in. So we're gonna to have to go off the side of this little metal, of this little metal box, the little metal spade. Um, the red wire, we already know it's positive all the time. Yep, it's positive all the time. The brake light's just cycled off. So let's check that again. Absolutely nothing, nothing at all. So with all this stuff plugged in, that tells me that my Orange wire is hot only when the timer is activated. And now that I think about it, that kind of makes sense. So the, the two plus is hot all the time. So evidently the current to the orange wire is going into the harness. It's not feeding, it's not uh, producing voltage, it's actually getting voltage from from the uh, from the timer. So in theory, this orange wire is the one main brake wire that you need to pierce because it should only work when the other two lights are on. And it won't flash, it's just a brake light only. So let's try that again. Cut the brake pedal off. I got no juice being put out to that orange wire from the number one terminal. Now, let's get my test light around there. Yeah, I got no juice. As soon as I hit the plunger, it should, and it did. So it's pushing juice from the number one terminal around that short black wire into the orange wire. And the orange wire is what's gonna feed your tail lights, and in your case, your third brake light. So we should pierce into this orange wire underneath your pedal group, that's what needs to feed the brake. And if we wait, it's gonna cycle off when the timer goes off. They're still on, they just cycled off. There you go. Now Jim, another test that I'm gonna do, this red wire. 
this red wire, one of the three wires with the key on, it is hot all the time. The red wire is. So we need to connect the red wire back up to my little circuit breaker. So right now, all my, my customer's cart right here, everything is functional. Um, obviously, I need to put everything back together, but everything is functional. Now, the next thing I want to check is all these crazy colors going to my relay, which is a little black box up behind the dash. You may have to zoom in. Let's see if I can move the camera. I don't know if that's going to help or not. So, what I'm going to do is I've got my ground. I'm going to take my test light and I'm going to touch it with something. Yep. My ground is still good. Now let's start checking voltages. So I've got this blue wire with the white stripe. And I've got 49 volts to that blue wire with the white stripe. So that wire right there, that's a whole bunch of voltage. So that is that is coming straight from the battery pack. Now let's check. This, this one has an orange wire. I got nothing green wire with a white stripe that's 16.4 volts so that green wire with the white stripe is however much voltage your wiring harness has in your case it's going to be 13.5 in my case i'm running it off 16 volts the blue wire has 16.4 volts so blue wire and green wire has 16.4 the uh, blue wire with the white stripe, that one had a bunch. Yeah, that one had 49.7. That's going, in your case, it's probably going to be like 53 volts. And you'll check that with, not with your tester like this, you'll check it with your voltmeter. And then the orange wire had nothing. So, we'll try it a different way. Okay, Jim, now I've got my voltmeter up here. I'm going to try to hold that close, see if that, you can see it. So the voltmeter says a little cheap one. I am using the one, mine says 300V. It's got a line and then it's got dots underneath it. It's very small, but that's the setting you wanna use. So what I do is I just took a little alligator clip and I clipped the terminal on the main negative. The way I'm gonna check that is I'm gonna take this and I touch it to any battery and I'm showing 31 volts for those batteries. So I know that my ground is good. That's, that's what you want to do is make sure your ground is good. So now let's take this relay here because I know you had some concern it may have blown and I'm unplug every wire. So now let's check some voltage with this relay unplugged. So the green and white, if I remember right, I think that one had a bunch of voltage like the whole battery pack. And right now I got nothing on it. The blue and white, maybe it's the blue and white. The blue and white has 48 volts, which is my whole battery pack. The orange has nothing. The blue, is that a blue or white? That's just a solid blue wire. That one has 16 volts. So that, that's coming straight off of my headlight harness. Then the green with the white stripe, it doesn't have anything, so maybe the current comes out of the blue wire through the relay and then back through the green wire. That's that's going to be my guess right there since it doesn't have any voltage. Now I'm going to hook it back up the way it was before, and I'm going to try to stick this in between the connectors on that uh, relay so I can touch it and then see if I can get those same readings. Now, Jim, I just found this. And this may have the answer to a lot of our questions. I'll try not to get it where it won't glare. But this tells you what the relay, what the wires are. And it tells you blue is your 12 volt positive. You know, which in my case would be 16 because I'm using 16 volt feed, not 12 volt feed. The green with the white stripe is 12 volt positive. The blue with the white stripe is 48 volts positive. Now you got a lithium, so yours is going to be 53, but that's close enough. And then the orange one is 48 negative. So that tells me the orange is my main ground wire. So I'm going to try this. That's what I'm going to do. 
disconnect my my uh, negative lead and I'm gonna stick it in with my orange wire. Now I'm gonna take my red lead. Let me see if I can find 16 volts. Remember my, my light harness is on 16 volts. And so it should be the green with the white stripe. And that one has nothing. So let's check the blue one. Yep, got 16 volts. So again, the green, I think, I think the current comes out of the blue into the relay and then it feeds the green and the green feeds your lights. So I'm satisfied by doing that test that this orange is definitely a ground. That's what that is. So let me plug it back up. All right, so let's start checking these wires again. So I've got my black wire to my uh, voltage meter. I've got it on the main negative. In your case, it'll be right straight to the battery. So now let's check this blue wire, which tells me it's gonna be 12 volts. I'm, I'm suspecting to see 16. Yep, 16 volts. All right, orange wire, nothing because that's my ground. Blue with the white, that's telling me that's gonna be battery pack voltage, which should be 48, 48. Green with the white, is telling me that's 12 volt positive also, which in my case is 16. Yep, it's 16. But the only reason it's 16, and if I unplug it and test it, I got nothing. So yes, when I plug that in, that should, that's what the relay does. The relay is feeding this green, green wire. So it's using both 16 volt and it's using 48 volts to energize this relay. So with your relay, hopefully you got a sharp point, you can get in right, right on the top of it and touch metal and see if you've got those same voltages. All right, last but not least, let's check all my functions again. All right, I can see lights flashing. Other side, I can see it reflecting off the garage door. I can see it reflecting off my refrigerator. Horns blowing. Um, let's check the headlights. Cut the headlight switch on. Tail lights are on. Now let's re reactivate our brake lights. Yep, they're definitely brighter. So everything is back to square one. So now we need to find out from your harness do you have those voltages? If you've got the voltages um, going into that relay, but the relay is not um, putting out and, and the system's not working properly, then maybe you did blow that relay. But um, until you verify those voltages, you know, at the bright light uh, switch down there at the plunger, where I call the plunger, and also at that relay, um, we got to get those behind us. So uh, check those out and then call me back. Thank you, buddy.